Amid Ukraine's counteroffensive in the south, a Russian proxy official in the Kherson region says the Kremlin's plans for a referendum on annexation have taken a pause due to security considerations. Kirill Stermosov, who has been in the Russian city of Voronezh more than 500 miles from Kherson, we have got prepared for voting. We wanted to organize the referendum in the near future, but because of the current developments, I think we will take a pause. Even before the counteroffensive, the plans for the referendum, tentatively set for September 11th, had been beset by residents' resistance and by Ukrainian partisan sabotage and assassinations. Stremusov confirmed that the Antonivsky Bridge, a vital link across the Dnipro River to the western Kherson region and Kherson city, has been damaged by Ukrainian forces and can no longer carry traffic. An outlet for the Russian mercenary Wagner Group says, Ukraine's advance in the south is because Russia's forces are not using their firepower on the ground and from the air. After trying to contain the offensive, the soldiers of the airborne forces and special forces had nothing left but to retreat to the repair defense lines in order to maintain the combat effectiveness of the units. But not all of them came out. Analyst Rob Lee notes that weeks of Ukraine strikes and sabotage cooperation, including the destruction of more than half of the warplanes of Russia's Black Sea Fleet in an explosion in Crimea last month, may account for the Russian inaction. There were multiple signals on Sunday of Ukraine's counter-offensive advancing against Russian invaders in the south of the country. Ukrainian officials have called for secrecy over any details of the operations launched a week ago. But President Volodymyr Zelensky said on Sunday night that forces had liberated two settlements. Zelensky did not name the positions, but Ukrainian forces reportedly reclaimed the village of Visokopilia. Yuri Sobolevsky, first deputy head of the Kherson Regional Council, announced Visokopilia is Ukraine. Kirill Timoshenko, the deputy head of Zelensky's office, posted an image of soldiers raising the Ukrainian flag atop a hospital. Visokopilia, Kherson region, Ukraine, today. Russian military bloggers supported the reports, saying troops withdrew to avoid encirclement. Ukrainian attacks continue to erode Russian supply lines and logistics. Military officials reported the destruction of another Russian ammunition depot and confirmed the demolition of one south of Kherson city on Friday. Zelensky went farther with the declaration that Crimea, seized by Russia in 2014, will also be recovered. Russia's defense ministry also subtly acknowledged the shift in Ukraine's favor. It replaced its declaration of total Ukrainian defeat made at the start of the counteroffensive to claims of high Ukrainian losses among personnel and military equipment. There are also indications that Ukraine is pushing back Russia's stalled offensive in the Donetsk region in the east. Zelensky said one settlement was liberated and there were good steps near Siversk and towards Lysikhansk, occupied by the Russians in the neighboring Luhansk region. Ukrainian forces are advancing along several axes in western Kherson Oblast in the south and have secured territory across the Siversky Donetsk River in Donetsk Oblast. The pace of the counteroffensive will likely change dramatically from day to day as Ukrainian forces work to starve the Russians of necessary supplies, disrupt their command and control, and weaken their morale, even as counteroffensive ground assaults continue. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you want to support Warthog Defense, please become our member and get early access to new videos, exclusive members only videos, and become administrator in comment section. The membership link is in the description. Rescues. Every day we had a guy last week at six rescues in six days. You know, he's doing the job every day.